I've always felt bad for dogs. Their food is disgusting. Just imagine getting out of bed every single morning, only to be welcomed by a bowl of dry brown kibble. Oh, and then you get the same thing for dinner later that night. I just find it so funny that dogs get equally excited every time they see that dinner bowl. And my dog is no different. In fact, I think he's just grateful to be getting a meal every single day. So that's why today I'm gonna cook a gourmet three course meal for my dog, Leo. Leo is a yellow lab. I still remember picking him up about 12 years ago when he was just a little puppy, and we've been best friends ever since. He has been eating this same food his entire life, which is approximately 4,380 days. Today, Leo, you deserve better. I think we can all agree he deserves this. The game plan here is simple. I'll prepare a standard three course meal, appetizer, entree, and dessert. But the question is, how will we know if Leo likes his food? Simple, dogs have straightforward signs to tell when they're happy and food equals happy. So we'll be looking out for the following traits. A waggy tail, floppy ears, kisses, and licking around the lips. Leo looks pretty hungry, so let's get started. Apples are super in season right now. So for our first course today, we're gonna be making a shaved carrot and apple salad. I may also toss in a few other vegetables in there, but to be honest, I don't know what Leo likes and doesn't like because I haven't fed him this stuff too often. We'll start by going into a bowl with our shaved carrot. We're gonna make these beautiful little ribbons to make sure that when we... Can you not breathe so loud? We're gonna make these beautiful ribbons to make sure that this looks nice for Leo. He deserves not just good food, but good presentation too. This is a really great way to make a fancy salad out of just about nothing. Apples are slightly harder to shave than carrots, but it still makes for a really nice thin strip. I'm really hopeful that this salad will be enough to impress Leo. To finish it off, we'll keep this simple. Just a light touch of olive oil. You gotta keep it healthy for Leo. Then a very subtle touch of tahini, just to give him a little bit of flavor. And a small little pinch of salt. I also have a small lime, which I'm gonna use to add just a little bit of zest into our salad. Then after we've mixed around that salad, it's time to plate it. And we'll finish it again with just a bit more of that zest. Right here, you have our beautiful first salad course, the appetizer. It is now time for the first appetizer course. Manny, bring the flowers. Sir, your first course is a shaved carrot salad. Please don't eat until I explain it. With some really nice, fresh and in-season apples. Please enjoy. <laughs> Sir, if you won't eat the whole salad, will you at least try a little bit of our fresh sliced carrots? They were, they were sliced perfectly for you. Well, so far we're 0 for 1, but I am very confident in our second course today. We're starting off with a USDA choice T-bone steak. Something nicer than most humans have for dinner every night. We're not gonna season it with anything, because I don't know how safe and healthy that is for dogs. But you can just tell that he's super excited for this one. We can clearly see right now that Leo is not the happiest dog in the world. To be honest, I think he's almost a little bit sad and offended that I served him a plate of vegetables. But fortunately for me, I got to eat a little bit. First steak, we're gonna start by going with just a little bit of oil. Then once that oil begins to reach a smoke point, in we go. Once we've got a nice crust on the first side of our steak, it's time to flip. I think we finally piqued Leo's interest. This is the first time he's spun around to look at me ever since that disastrous first salad course. I am very hopeful that we can impress him with this steak right here. To finish off this steak, I'm gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of rosemary for some flavor, and then we'll let this steak rest for a little while, followed, of course, by that rosemary and just a little bit of that beef oil. I think these flavors are piquing Leo's interest. We're then gonna deglaze our pan with just a little bit of apple cider. Once our sauce is nice and thickened, I'll let Leo lick the spoon to make sure he approves, and then we'll set our sauce aside. At this point, Leo is really pumped for this steak because he knows it's time for us to cut it. Let's take a small bite off just to make sure that the boss approves. Leo, you approve? He approved. I'm gonna cut right along the bone, then separate out a nice portion for Leo. As you can see right here, we've cooked this to the perfect medium rare. What I hope is Leo's favorite. I'll start in the middle of my plate with a small drizzle of that sauce, then gently and evenly layer down that steak. And while it may look small, that is a very elegant but delicious course number two for the entree. And now, Leo, to you, I present course number two, a medium rare T-bone steak with a really nice sauce. Please enjoy. He likes the sauce. I will now hand feed this to Leo because he's such a good boy. I have to say, I think the plate on this one speaks for itself and the fact that he's still trying to get those last little bits, even the stuff right off my fingers, is a great sign. Now for our final dessert course, I'll be making a peanut butter banana ice cream. And the great part is, it's actually quite simple. Just a couple of nice bananas, a great big scoop out of the single largest peanut butter container I've ever seen in my life. Life. And of course, a couple scoops of plain yogurt. And once this has all been blended up, we'll put it in our ice cream maker and let that baby mix. 
And now that our ice cream is done, I'll place the perfect bit right in the middle of our plate, then keep it simple with just a few peanuts. And that right there is our cute dog safe dessert. Fingers crossed that Leo loves this one. Sir, your final course is as follows. Wait until I've explained it. He's a good boy. What you see here is a peanut butter and banana ice cream with a few peanuts on the side just for a little bit of texture, which I thought you'd really enjoy. He's really getting a kick out of this, huh? Please go ahead and have your dessert. Go ahead. And in he goes. I know this might be a little bit too cold for Leo's preferences, and he's not used to cold food, but I know that he looks like a happy, happy dog right now. And he just needs to take pauses between each couple of licks because his tongue gets so freezing. <laughs> is it good? He likes it. He likes it. I think we did a good job with this course meal. My cute furry friend has almost licked the plate clean on this one, making me think that this is a 10 out of 10. And like those signs I talked about earlier, Leo's doing just about all of them except for the kissing. That right there is a clean licked plate. We have a tired doggy here, but I think it's pretty safe to say that we knocked it out of the park with this three course meal. Leo doesn't get any treats like that too often. And while it does certainly look like he enjoys his regular old kibble, I felt like after all that time not trying any gourmet food, he just really deserved it. And to finish it off, I figured he also just deserved a little treat at the end because what dog doesn't deserve a good treat and who doesn't love bacon now it's time for leo to brush his teeth as well so i'll give him this and that concludes the dining experience for leo today and again don't forget to toss a like on the video and subscribe and let me know what animal i should cook for next